It's okay. The world needs losers too. It would unmake winners if there was no losers walking around. Why do you guys believe people should accommodate your shortcomings? The only thing that you should never do to those that you love is accommodate their shortcomings. They need you to hold them to their highest potential because you, you know what they could be in a world full of soft ass bitches. The only people who are gonna make it are those that realize dying, never, never fulfilling their true potential will be the greatest tragedy they've ever fucking faced. When you're on your deathbed, and you realize, I didn't even fucking try every day. I didn't get nowhere I should have. You'll hear my voice. Hopefully, you change before it's too late. But you'll hear my voice. And it'll be saying, fuck, you were worth it. But you chose to be worthless. I told you over and over, the work instills the worth. So I gave you my word. I told you I'll never fucking miss. I've never missed. Am I tired? Am I hungry? Am I, the fuck is that? I'm none of that shit. I'm not tired. I'm not hungry. I'm not, I'm not facing fatigue, burnout. The fuck is burnout? Burnout happens because you have negative internal dialogue. You're speaking negatively about what you're doing. I never speak negative about this shit. Not even this fucking video where my voice is just hoarse. It's fucking trash. My neck is trash. My throat's done. But guess what? I show up with positive self-talk about my purpose, my path, what I'm doing, what I owe you, that I owe you. And I put myself aside. When you're selfless, you rise above all the hindrances of Wes, Wes Watson. This bitch, this pussy, Wes Watson, has all these hindrances because he learned all this shit, indoctrined with beliefs of society that weaken him. But guess what happens? When I elevate above Wes Watson by living through my purpose, by selflessly sacrificing all my pleasures, even my well-being, my mental health, supposedly, I elevate above it. Nothing can stop you if you operate from purpose. You don't get bored. You don't start to desire. So therefore, you don't run to the vices. You don't self-sabotage. You're not serving self. You guys consistently self-sabotage because you're selfish and you serve self. You get how the fuck that works. When you realize you've transcended self and your purpose is everybody else, how could you miss I owe you the person that I'm most equipped to help is the old me. All you drunks, all you drug addicts, all you negative fucks, all you procrastinators, all you easy money chasers, all you violent fucks, all you criminals, all you gangsters, all you normal people who aren't operating at your highest potential. Everything I've ever been is what I have the answer to solve. Because I solved it. Like I said, our only job on this earth is to heal ourselves and teach others to do the fucking same. To go on that hero's journey. Face yourself in the mirror. Say, what the fuck am I doing? Just got off a call with one of my youngsters. I love this motherfucker. But I had to get at him harsh. He came to me with everything he'd been doing. And all I cared about is what he hadn't done. The real ones only see what remains to be fucking done. What we know doesn't need to be explained. And me and him know some high level shit. So why would we talk about that? We're only focused on what remains to be done. We're only focused on the levels we've yet to fucking achieve. Every fucking day. Variable stacking. Filling gaps. More, 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 more. Five, more.
like Armstrong said in the penitentiary from one of my old videos. Armstrong was a big brother. He was a big old black motherfucker, just gangster motherfucker. Hard as fucking motherfucker. 24 inch arms. On the other side of the day room, he had my respect because he worked out like a fucking beast. He sat there on the other side of the cages while I was hitting the weights. They had weights out of state when we were in Oklahoma. There were some cable machines and some machines. And I'm hitting curls and he's sitting there going, five mo, five mo, five mo. And this motherfucker was a beast. We gather knowledge. We absorb from beasts because we are beasts. And you motherfuckers are getting so comfortable. You're getting too far away from what you are. As we've evolved, it became courteous by choice. But we're violent by design, motherfucker. The fuck are you guys dropping that violence for? Towards your goals, towards your life, towards everything. The ability to be a dangerous motherfucker. Passive, pussy, punk, bitches. I'd rather fucking die. Look me in the eyes. Armstrong sat there and went, five mo, five mo, five mo. He demanded more. He wasn't even supposed to be saying that because we were different races. Divided by a chain link fence. He didn't give a fuck. I ran the car for my people, so I didn't give a fuck neither. It was straight fucking respect. I want so much more from you guys. Stop looking at what you've done today. Look at what remains to be fucking done. Let's go.